Hey everybody, what is up? I am the Mac Mage, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the Kodi Media Center. So if you are an absolute beginner to Mac and you're not quite sure what you're doing, but you want this, you've seen this, and you want to have it, I am going to take you through it step by step. If you um, don't know what Kodi is, but you've heard about it and you want to see what it is, check out this video. I'll show you what it is and how to get it, so stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be talking about Kodi. Kodi is a media center for your computer, much like uh, Plex or uh, Microsoft um, Media Player, Windows Media Player. But it is a million times better, in my opinion, than either one of those. Um, now, originally, Kodi was called XBMC. It was the interface which the original Xbox used when it came out, but they decided to do away with this particular interface and opted for something else. But the developers kept on with this, and then um, it's turned into this huge uh, media center where you can play your own videos, use your own pictures, and your own music media from iTunes on here, or you can use third-party apps and get some awesome other um, things on here as well. A couple of things to note before we get started. Most everything is absolutely free on this media center that you can access. However, you can access things like Amazon Prime, Netflix, and a few other things that allow you to tap into your own paid pre-existing account, account. So um, if you see a Netflix add-on, you might want to make sure you have a paid account or access to a paid account so you can watch the um, content there. Um, that is the only uh, paid content you'll really find here. Um, and the other thing that I should note, there are third-party apps that I will be talking about in this tutorial that may not be legal in your country, um, such as um, certain pirated movies or movies that are in theaters or on DVD, um, TV shows, pay TV, um, things like that that are in this tutorial that may not be legal in your country so you may want to get the um, to make sure you know your your laws for your country before you proceed in downloading this I take no responsibility for anyone who downloads this you are doing it at your own risk with that being said let's go ahead and explore some of the awesome stuff about Cody so as I said first and foremost Cody is for accessing your personal media so you have things like your pictures, um, you can get picture add-ons that will allow you to access the pictures in your library. Um, Dropbox is on here, iCloud is on here, there's a couple of, um, I think there's a Flickr app somewhere in here that will allow you to access your personal pictures. Um, so that's one of the things that you can do of your own media. You can also um, access your own videos and your own movie collection in here as well. Um, and you can do that by going into the video add-ons and into file, I believe. But if you really want me to go in-depth on your own personal stuff, let me know in the description, ask a question. I will do a video response to that and I'll show you how to do that. Um, one more thing before we get started is that there is adult content on uh, available in the outer reaches of Kodi. If you do not want your children to be accessing that, you can um, put parental controls on your Kodi and I'll be making that video next. So let's go ahead and I'll show you some of the add-ons that are available here in Kodi. So, as you can see, there are a plethora of things just here alone, and I don't even have that many add-ons. There's like a ton more. Okay, so um, the best way that I can explain these things is how Netflix has their own content, Hulu and Prime, they are their own separate entities with their own separate content. Each one of these channels is its own separate entity with its own separate content. Um, for example, if I were to go right here into Pair Channel, now, this has a bunch of other channels. You see, this is all housed within Pair Channel. Um, and it 
it's its own it's its own entity. Um, so each icon, each add-on, I should say, is different. Um, and the way that you obtain these is with these things called sources. And these sources are websites. And they're legitimate websites that you can search up on the internet. So I'll show you how to troubleshoot just a bit later on. But yeah, you can get tons of stuff here. Um, so you saw how all, um, all of the stuff that Pear Channel had within it, but Cartoon World or the podcast app or Prime Channel will have completely different things within it, completely different content within it. Um, you just have to click on each one and see what is the content that you, de that you desire and that you enjoy most. For me, I like Pear Channel. So, um, and the thing is that everything plays easily. There's no searching through a million different links. So, for example, um, let's go to ABC News. If something doesn't load, it just yeah. won't load. Yeah. So, you see that loaded pretty quick. I'll just press escape once to get back to this menu. Go to CNN. Okay, and let's go, um, we'll try one more. These are usually pretty quick, um, about loading. Nice. Ready on the left. Lovely and experimental. So yeah, there's tons of stuff that you can um, get to load, especially on this. You have BBC channels, um, USA channels, you have Russia Today there, you have um, local um, local channels from different states, a lot of Boston channels, um, you have some Florida channels. Um, so yeah, there's, there's tons of stuff that you can watch on here. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to actually acquire this stuff. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download Kodi. And you can download Kodi in the website that I will have in the description. Just go to your browser and you're going to want to type in simply Kodi.tv. When you get here, you're going to click on Downloads. And then the latest version of Kodi, the most recent and stable build, is going to be on the very top, which right now for us is Jarvis. You see right here? Okay, so um, what you're going to do is select your preferred operating system, whichever one you're using. If you're on a PC, you're going to want this one. A Mac, you're going to want this one iPad, Android, etc, etc. So I'm on a Mac and I'm sure you are too, so just click on that and it will download. So after that's done downloading, you're going to have an icon right here. And I'm just going to drag this to the, um, to the middle so you guys can see. Alright, so um, all you're going to do is click on this icon. That shouldn't happen. Okay, just click on the icon. And then it'll open up like that. Now, if you have any trouble whatsoever um, getting this to open, the easiest thing to do is to click the uh, control button on your keyboard and then click on that icon again. And it should ask you if you want to open it and you'll just click on open. Once you have that done, all you need to do is take this Cody icon and drag it over to your applications folder and let go. Now I'm not going to do that because I have it installed already, but that's all you're going to have to do and it'll be sitting in your applications. When you're done with that, you're going to want to make sure you dismount the disk image. So just come over here and then click eject. And then you can simply put this in the trash. Now. 
if you don't know where it has gone, it is in your applications folder. If you want it on your dock, simply go up here to where it says go. Let me scroll up here. Where it says go, go down to applications, open up applications, and then find it in your um, applications menu, which would be right here. Take Cody, and then you're going to want to highlight it, and then just bring it out here and drop it into your dock. I already have it in my dock, so I'm just going to let it go. And there you go. That's all you're going to have to do, and then you can close your applications file. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and open up Cody, and I'll show you how to get the things that you're going to need to get all those co those um, um, popular add-ons. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into Systems, or go to your Systems, and then click your down keyboard uh, arrow, and then scroll over to where it says File Manager, and then click Enter. Now, in the file manager section, you're going to put in the uh, sources that I spoke of earlier. And each source is a legitimate website. So if anything goes wrong, um, you can, if like if you're trying to download something or something's not coming up for you, you can legitimately search these websites up on the web and it will bring you to a website. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to put in four sources. And I will have each of them listed in the description link, uh, uh, this description section, with the suggested name. Now you can name your sources whatever you want, but it's easier to name them something that is more commonly used. So that when, when people talk about the source, you'll know what they're talking about. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is come down here to where it says Add Source. Click on that. And then right here where it says none, you're going to want to click here. And then you're going to see a keyboard. Now you could, of course, use your mouse if you'd like. But I prefer to type it in with my keyboard. And we're going to type what you are about to see on your screen now, which is HTTP colon slash slash xunity talk dot me slash xfinity slash. Okay, and then once you're done with that, once you're done with that, then just go ahead and click on done. You're going to come down here to where you see the name. It says Xfinity there. Um, now, you could leave it like that, but what I suggest and what a lot of people do suggest is that you actually rename it. And the way that most of us do that uh, is by using a dot or an asterisk prior to putting the name. So it would be asterisk, asterisk Xfinity. And then click on Done. And now your source is ready to be added. So the next thing you're going to want to do is click OK. Or you can also click Enter, I believe. When you're done, you'll see a little pop-up icon here or over here letting you know that it has been added successfully. Alright, so once you've got your source added here, you're going to see it over here. So, um, in the description, like I said, I have all the links and all the sources that you're going to need um, to be putting in, and you put them in exactly the same way. So go ahead and install all of your sources and then come back when you are done. Okay. So now that you've got everything installed, I'm going to show you how to add stuff. So what you're going to want to do is click Escape and go back to the main menu. And then in Systems, you're going to click on Systems. And then scroll down to where it says Add-ons. And then you're going to click Install from Zip File. And then you're going to go into metal kettle and click on the very bottom one where it says repository dot metal kettle and the version number which may be different if you're doing it at a later date um, it might be different than the one that you have um, but you're going to want to click on that and install it when you're done go to super repo 
go to the build that you're using, which if you're downloading with me today, you're using Jarvis. Click on all. And then click on um, the repository that's in there. And install that. Next, you're going to want to click on Team Export or ex Expact. And then there's only one repo there. Click on that and install it. And finally, for Xfinity, you're going to want to click on the very bottom one and install that. So once you've done that, you're going to go over to video add-ons. So go to video, down arrow, go to add-ons. And then where mine has all of this stuff, yours, um, I don't remember if yours is going to be empty or if it might have certain things in it already. But if it doesn't, um, you can get add-ons two places. You can go down here where you see this little puzzle piece looking thing. Click on get more and install to your heart's content. Or, if you like, you can go to programs, click on add on installer, and then go here to add ons and add on things from here. So, for example, let's say I wanted this sporty add-on thingy here. Click on that. Click on install. And let it do its thing. And then once it's done. Then I can get out of there. And it'll be in here. So the pair channel thing I showed you is right there. Phoenix, which is awesome, is right there. Um, Exodus, which is the latest and greatest um, add-on, is right there. You also have Prime Wire, which is right there. It's got a lot of movies on it. Cloud TV, I haven't tried yet, but I'm sure that's pretty new. <coughs> So, yeah, there's just a ton of things you can do here um, to enjoy. So, um, download to your heart's content, find all the add-ons you want, and uh, enjoy. If you are new to Cody and would like to see more tutorials, please check back here, as I will be posting new tutorials um, every a chance that I get really um, and I'm going to be doing one on parental controls and one on how to actually watch live TV um, my tutorials are always going to be designed for you guys the beginners so keep watching subscribe hit that subscribe button if you uh, enjoyed this video please like and share this channel and until next time I'll see you later thanks for watching bye bye